So it's been quite a while since my last time recording a video. No excuses, let's just jump right into it. So my last book review was American Gothic. And if you've seen that video, you already know I was over it. I really hated that book. Okay, hate is a strong word. I really disliked that book. So maybe that's why I haven't done any videos. That book, it strangled me, it ruined my life. So I needed some time to recoup, to regroup, to figure out who I am. I needed time to figure it all out. But I'm back and I have been reading. So the first book on my list is The Space Between Worlds. This book really took me somewhere I didn't think I was going. Let's talk about the fact that there are multiple Earths, there are doppelgangers, there's a wasteland emperor, there's this genius boss tech guy, super sci-fi giving you, hold on, what's going on? So we're following Kara, and Kara is from a specific Earth, ends up on another Earth, stealing the life of her doppelganger while falling in love with someone she's fell in love with on countless other planets, while running away from the desert wasteland where an emperor is after her. She used to be a prostitute. Now she's a world jumper. There's a lot going on in here. And of course, they touch on racism, hierarchy, classism, all those things that you usually find in most dystopian sci-fi multi-universe movies where there's the boss here, that boss over there, they're fighting, we're fighting over money, all that. But it was really good. I really enjoyed this book. You got like multi-universal lesbian love situations. It's good to see new lesbian stories being told all the time now. And they're leading roles, so I'm feeling it. I really enjoyed it. I don't want to say much about the book because I don't want to spoil it, but it's amazing. So I ended up reading a book that a lot of people talk about on YouTube. A lot of people talk about this book everywhere. Everyone has read this book and I felt like, I kind of felt pressured. Like I felt like I had to read this book and I read it. And I'm really glad that I read this book because it's amazing. I finally read Ray Bearer. This book really was like, I was not ready for this. I was not expecting the story to be what it was, and it gave what it should have been giving. Thank you. Main character, Tarasai, I, I can't even really tell you what's going on, because if I tell you what's really going on, you'll kind of like know the story, and that's not good. You should read it. Tarasai is dealing with some issues because she is friends with this prince and she has to kill him and when you find out why she has to kill him and how she is being like pushed into killing him and the fact that you know she's a child and she's being made to kill someone and it's just that's too much the way that everything goes I love Tarasai. I love her persistence. I love that she doesn't take no for an answer. She's one of those kids that's like gonna shine bright like a diamond regardless to how many people are trying to dim her light. And we just follow her along this journey of building friendships, uh, uncovering secrets of her life, the struggle between family and betrayal and just magic, craziness, hierarchies, councils, a lot. And I really loved all of it like i loved all of this book and i'm glad that i read it now because the new book is coming out next month and you know i'm gonna read that but yeah ray bearer was popping and i think anyone who hasn't read ray bearer don't waste any more time just read it i don't really drink coffee i just feel like it's liquid crack and every time I drink it, I get like the jitters. I feel like I shouldn't be drinking it, but everyone does it and it kind of helps my life out when I'm tired, so. Coffee. So, speaking of coffee, another book that I read recently that ruined me, that just ruined every part of me, that just, it just ruined me. I've been ruined for days now. Black Buck. Listen. <laughs> Ooh, if 
if I didn't pay good money for this book, I would throw it away. I'm not going to say much about this book, but I will say that the main character, Darren, he works at Starbucks. He has this great selling quality about him. He's a good salesman and uh, someone of importance in the sales world recognized that one day. They saw something in him and was like, you know what? Come on over to my company and we'll do you good. Darren ends up going to this company and he eventually becomes Buck, not Darren. Darren becomes someone else and it is all very disturbing how this journey of his transpires. What I will say is that I wanted to fight Darren the entire book because Darren makes a lot of stupid choices that I don't agree with and many other people who have read this book do not agree with. I can't even begin to explain how crazy this company is where Darren is the only black person working there. They treat him like trash and pretty much the only reason he's staying there is because his mother is like, oh, son, I know that there are great things in store for you. You're gonna make it. You have potential. Just stick in there, stay at this company, do your thing, make mama proud. So Darren is very stuck on, I have to make my mom proud. I have to make my community proud. So he goes to this company every day, pushing hard, even though they're racist and they're trying to ruin every bit of dignity that this man has. Darren keeps going and a lot of things happen. I was angry for about 95% of the book. If racism, misogyny, greed, capitalism, and all those things make you upset like they make me upset, then you too will enjoy the ruinage of this journey through Black Buck. It was great though. I do believe that this author has an awesome style of writing. His storytelling really had me flipping the pages. I never felt like, I can't read this anymore. Like, you know a book is good when you're reading it and you're upset and everything in the book is upsetting you, but you keep on reading it. So it was really good. I wanted to fight Darren. I wanted to fight everyone at the company that he worked for. I kind of want to fight his mom too. Like, I kind of want to fight Darren's mom. <sighs> Just read it, it's really good. Last book on my list is a book that I was supposed to read in the year that shall not be named. But last year I was supposed to read this book. I was so excited just because the cover is like beautiful and also because the story sounds great. Washington Black. Y'all know I'm excited about this. In the cover nice. That's nice. They did a really good job on this one. And the great thing about black and white, the color that goes so well with it. Red. They got the red cover. What's black and white and red all over? My new book. So yeah, I've been meaning to read this for a long time, but my fellow readers, you know. New books come out with a lot of hype. We lose track. We stop reading for a while. Well, at least I know I did. Life be lifing. So I finally got to it and I'm only 20 pages in. Let me see if I'm lying about that. 23 pages in. And I won't say that I'm jumping over the moon about these first 23 pages because this book follows a young man who is a slave in the beginning of this book. He's on a plantation that I believe is called Faith. He is clinging to an older slave woman named Big Kit. So the first 23 pages is kind of giving you a summary of what's going on on the plantation, what it looks like, the master, some of the other slaves and things like that. If you've read anything about slavery, you already know, not cool. Everything going on, ruining me making me upset. I don't like it. Mad. So the synopsis says that while he is enslaved on this plantation, he is then turned over to another master who he fears will be worse than his previous master, but he turns out to be like this scientist who does like explorations and he builds crazy things and he travels the world and he takes Washington Black with him on these adventures and then from what I've read the young man becomes a free man he's no longer enslaved he gets to travel the world I want you guys to know that I love you because I'm doing this video in this nice jacket I want it to look a little spiffy in my jacket I turned my AC off so there wouldn't be any noise it's definitely 80 degrees and I'm hot 
but I do this for y'all because I know y'all don't want to hear all that noise. But yeah, so Washington Black traveling the world free from slavery, racism, oppression. He's flying around in like hot air balloons. Craziness. I haven't gotten to those parts yet. I'm only 23 pages in, but who wouldn't like that? So three of these books I've read June, July-ish, and I'm currently reading Washington Black. These, this is my little book stack. This is what's happening right now. So yeah, I'm back. I'm making videos again. I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible because you guys kind of like my videos. I was getting some likes here and there. I was getting some subscribers and I'm like, oh, hey y'all, what's up? I will make another video of all the books that I plan on reading during July and August. Tell me if you've read any of these books that have been in this video. But now comes the time that I must say what everyone else says. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. That helps out the algorithm, gets me more likes, all those things. But as long as you're watching and you're enjoying, that's really all that matters. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.